Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from Monday, July 17th to Sunday, the 23rd, and I'm using this Believe Kit from Whimsical Plans, and this is clearly a Ted Lasso themed kit. Um, I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've used a Whimsical Plans kit, and I was definitely feeling a little bit rusty. You will see throughout this plan with me that I kept putting things down and ripping them back up just because nothing was fitting right and I like wasn't happy with the colors that I was putting down and I don't know I was just a mess I love how it turned out I'm very happy with the finished product but the process was definitely a little bit tricky for me also paired with the fact that I have been pre-pulling my stickers um there were a lot of instances where I'd have a red icon on top of a red label and I didn't really like that. Um, every once in a while I just, it's fine, like I'll have yellow things on top of a yellow label and I just live with it, but every once in a while I didn't really love it and wanted to switch it up. Now I ended up choosing this kit for a bunch of reasons and obviously this is not the week of the premiere of season three of Ted Lasso because I didn't watch it that week. I wanted to wait until everything was out and also I've just been really busy and TV unfortunately because I love TV has been taking a back burner um, specifically shows that Joe and I watch together because a lot of our time spent together lately has been with other people. Um, sorry if you can hear that. That's Brad burying Janet's food to eat for later. Pig. Um, but anyway, so I didn't end up using this kit for the premiere because I didn't watch it, so it just didn't really make any sense. And that week, I believe some other thing was going on in my life that I wanted to use a specific kit for but it makes total sense for this week for three reasons. Number one, this is Joe's birthday week and he really enjoys soccer. Number two, we went to a party on Friday, very small, more of a gathering on Friday to watch the Women's World Cup, the, um, the US team play. And then number three, on Sunday, we finally started Ted Lasso season three. So lots of good reasons to break out this kit. It just made total sense. I did run into a problem, however, where I had too many full boxes once again and nowhere to put them. And I really wanted to use just all of my favorite characters. So you can see up there on Saturday and Sunday, I stole um, Rosie Plan's little trick. Um, and gave it a shot. This is the first time I've ever done it, and I think it, it turned out pretty cute. I ended up regretting my decision to have the locker room on the outside, and I did end up closing my planner so that you would see the character stickers instead, just because, you know, love Jamie when I'm on the outside. Uh, so I do regret doing that. In my head, I was like, oh, well, you know, you reveal the players that's cooler but then I'm like well I don't want to look at the boring locker room so and then I, I I'm really diving way too deep into this but then I was also thinking like well they're standing on the field outside so that should be the outside uh sticker and then the locker room which is inside should be the inside sticker so I was mad that I did that but again this is my first time doing this I'm not a huge like what do you call it I don't even know what what do you call this day extender you it's not even a day extender what do you call this someone help me what what the hell is this this method called anyway i've never done it before so that was new you may also notice that this video possibly unless i talk for half an hour possibly ends up being sped up much faster than any of my other videos ever have um because I struggled so much with this kit and with box placement that I ended up with like 33 minutes of a video if I just sped everything up once. So um, I had to speed up the video, save it, and now we're speeding it up again just because I took too damn long and I just don't know if I have it in me to talk to for 33 minutes. We shall see though. Um, yeah, as far as this week goes like i said it was joe's birthday week which is always very stressful for me he is hands down the most difficult 
person to shop for. Like everything I could think to get him, he was already planning on getting himself, getting it from someone for free, or he had a friend who could get him a huge, like 75% discount. So it just didn't make sense for me to get it for him. He's just so hard to shop for. Um, it's, it's torture. And I ask him basically like eight months in advance what he wants. And I never get like a straight answer. It's, it's really hard. So that's always difficult. I don't like giving shitty gifts. Like I wish he was a girl sometimes just so that I could get him other things. I don't know. And, um, also he tends to have a lot of birthday events, like a lot. He has a lot of friend groups and he tends to do multiple things for his birthday with different groups of people at a time. I vote one event, invite everybody. If people can't make it, sucks to be them. But, you know, that's just not how it goes. So there was a lot going on this week. And, and honestly, still, like this coming weekend, we are celebrating his birthday again with a different group of friends. It's just a lot for someone like me who has like three friends. Like I can't relate, but... Um, yeah, so I was, I was very tired. And then of course work was a shit show. What else is new? And yeah, I was just generally angry this week. So strap yourself in. What else is new? I'm mad. So yeah, starting with Monday, the first thing I marked was that I had to start work at 7.30 in the morning. I also didn't go into the office this morning because I had a dermatologist appointment and it just didn't make sense because I needed my car. So I started work early to make up the time for my appointment, which I believe was at like 8.45 or something like that. So I went to the dermatologist and then um, drove home to finish up work. I, of course, vacuumed as I do every time I first get home from the weekend. And then I did a full body workout. Um, and then I, I, I had to make some stressful insurance phone calls because stupid me didn't say anything while I was in the dermatologist's office, but they ended up cutting out the weird thing on my face and the doctor wanted to send it for testing and it didn't occur to me that testing was going to cost me an arm and a leg until I left and for something that I'm not worried about and the doctor doesn't seem very worried about I'm not trying to like bankrupt myself to get testing on something that is most likely benign so I had to call like the dermatologist's office I called my insurance company then I had to call the dermatologist's office again it was like a whole thing and I really wanted them to just cancel cancel the testing they ended up putting it on hold to see if they could get me like a better deal so yeah it was a whole thing on Monday and then this was also Ilza's birthday from Ilza's Melted Plans I don't tend to mark friends birthdays very often but I just know that she's like been having a rough year as, as have I. And, and I don't know, I just like, I just really wanted her to have an extra special birthday. So I felt like I should mark it. And then, um, I prepped for work the next day because I did have to go into the office since I didn't go on Monday. And then, um, Joe called me, can't for the life of me remember what we talked about. Um, I think just I don't know, probably his birthday. And then the last thing I did on Monday was pull some stickers while I watched Criminal Minds. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked was that I slept like shit. And um, that's, I mean, what else is new? Whenever I have to go in the office, that just that's just how life is. And I foolishly thought that the walk to work wouldn't be too bad because the temperature was 76 degrees that morning at 7 a.m. when I left. But um, instantly, swamp ass, the humidity was so high. I don't know if it could be 200%, but I swear it was 200%. I was drenched in sweat. And usually if it's below 80, I'm shivering and covered in goosebumps. So you can just imagine how intense the humidity was. And then um, I just had to make a bunch of stupid phone calls to the passport agency. And it was a nightmare and a half. I will try to keep it brief. The first time I called, they offered a callback, if you know what I mean, from like an automated system. Sometimes they'll call you and it's your turn because the wait is so long. 
And unfortunately, when they called me back, I was on the phone with a customer, so I couldn't answer. So then the second time I called back, the wait was so long that they hung up on me. The third time I called back, the wait was so long that they hung up on me. And then finally, the fourth time I called back, the wait was over two hours long, but they let me wait on hold until it got down to 40 minutes. And then when the wait time was only 40 minutes, they offered to give me a call back. The girl finally called me back. And I couldn't fucking hear her. I swear to God, I could have cried. I couldn't hear her and I had no idea if she could hear me, but I just yelled. I was like, if you can hear me, please call me back. And um, I don't know how it happened, but like 45 minutes after that, someone finally called me again. So they must have heard me because I, I don't know. But I got a call back and uh, moral of the story is they, they can't tell you shit. They refuse to tell you anything. They will not answer a single question. They will continue to cut you off and just say, if your trip is not within two weeks, tough shit. That's all they say. I'm, I, and, it, and the thing is, I normally wouldn't keep bothering them, but my boss was breathing down my neck about it and just telling me to keep calling, keep calling. It was... Hmm. For someone who has phone anxiety, this job has not been going well. Uh, And then after that, I made another call to my dermatologist because, um, yeah, they were supposed to call me back. And they did, but they still didn't have answers for me, so they were going to call me on Wednesday. That's what happened that time. Sorry. A lot of phone calls. I'm getting confused. Um, I walked home this day, and then I just marked fucking trash can because now my neighbors keep their trash can in our walkway, and um, it's making me really angry, but so far, it's not filled with any trash. They just store it inside, so I'm not complaining yet, but the second that the trash can becomes dirty. I have to say something or well, no, my roommate's going to say something because I'm done. Then I took a cold shower because it was 90 degrees when I walked home. So I was feeling a little disgusting. After my shower, I vented to my roommate just because all of the phone calls I had made that day, just like I was, I was upset. I took a nap because as we all know, after I go into the office, I just end up falling asleep. I just can't hang, which is another reason why I don't want to go in more than once a week because I'm just too tired. I can't do it. I watched Criminal Minds and then I planned. And yeah, you can see I just had so much trouble figuring out which boxes to put down when especially monday tuesday and thursday those days i struggled the most it was wasn't great but looks cute so it's okay moving on to wednesday the first thing i marked was work of course and i used this sleeping munchkin just because i was tired and this also felt like a super long week even though i only had a four-day work week because i took pto on friday it was dragging let me tell you Then I just marked more passport drama as if there couldn't be more, but I told my boss that like I called a million times the day before and they wouldn't tell me anything and she said that I should try calling again. (laughs) So yeah, and then this was the day that the dermatologist finally got back with me to me with the pricing of $50 for the test. Originally, if I went through my insurance, it would have been $600 dollars so the fact that it was just 50 I was like you know what I really don't want to spend the 50 I really want to tell them to just cancel it but what if like I know it's nothing but what if what if I destroy my life for 50 dollars like how cheap am I so I just said okay go for it 50 bucks whatever kill me I did a glute workout this day um anyway After that, I marked that I went to Marathon Grill with Joe and his parents for one of his birthday dinners. And um, I mean, the food was really good. I got a quesadilla, not a taco, but I just marked it with a taco because that's what I have. And um, it was great, except for I did drive myself to his house. Since it's his birthday week, I didn't want to ask him to pick me up, even though that risks me getting parking when I come home. So yeah, I did come home at 10 p.m. And at first there was no parking. But then as I was doing my second or third drive-by, someone pulled out 
still not super close to my house, like still pretty far, not gonna lie, but close enough for me to like walk safely home. So I snagged the spot and went on my merry way and I just went straight to bed. I was so damn tired. I woke up because I had a nightmare and just, I had a nightmare about like a giant bug and I woke up at 12.01 a.m. So since it was officially Joe's birthday, I decided to call him and say happy birthday in my like sleepy stupor. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked was that I just woke up to an absolute shitstorm at work. I woke up to so many Teams messages in different chats, all from the idiot douchebag in uh, Europe who is making all the stupid changes. Um, and I burst into tears. I was so overwhelmed, so upset. He was like in the sales chat saying that we all had to do all this other stuff. He was in a chat with my boss and me complaining about how I'm sending too many emails and whatever. And she ended up sticking up for me because I was not responding to anyone in anything. I essentially went like catatonic. I was just crying and not doing anything for an hour. I didn't touch my work for at least an hour if not an hour and a half because I was just crying like that's how bad it is and she could tell because like she ended up sending me a really long message about like how she appreciates me and like you know if I don't feel comfortable like talking to him you know like she I can talk to her and blah blah, blah xyz whatever it was just terrible it was terrible I obviously can't go into like all the details of everything but um yeah I just um I hate him so can't wait to meet in a month, sir. Then I was planning on doing a workout during my break and possibly wrapping Joe's gifts because I hadn't done either one of those things and I wasn't going to have time after work. But unfortunately, I had family drama that I had to deal with. Um, my uncle and his partner called me and they were on the phone for so long that I ended up having to just call it and use it as my break because I talked to them for over half an hour and my break is a half an hour. So, um, yeah, I didn't take, uh, like a real break cause I was just on the phone with them. Um, everything's fine. Uh, just some drama about my grandmother, but everything's fine except that I didn't get a break. Um, anyway, so after work, I, had to wrap Joe's gifts still and it took a really long time. One of the things I got him was a mattress pad for his mattress because he needed one of those and wanted one. So I got him a nice one. Um, ended up being too nice and too thick and too soft. So I actually exchanged it for, I just got him the same one I have because I love the one I have. Um, and hopefully that's good enough. But at the time I had this like huge box that I had to wrap. So that took a very long time because I didn't have wrapping paper big enough other than like Christmas paper, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I wrapped that and his other two gifts. And then I got semi ready. I was sort of in a rush because I wanted to like get to his place, but um, I didn't want to look like a piece of shit on his birthday. So yeah, I had to get ready. And then we decided to go to Texas Roadhouse for his birthday dinner, a very random choice since neither one of us has ever been there before, but I actually really enjoyed it. I got like this herb crusted chicken or whatever, like herb lemon chicken. It was delicious. And he got a steak because it was his birthday. So that's fine. Um, and then, uh, I also treated him to a milkshake afterwards at Nifty 50s, which was actually really gross. I didn't know this was possible, but they put too many toppings in. The milkshake was almost warm because it was just toppings and no, like even for him and he's the topping master, he was like, yeah, this is too much. This is gross. Half the cup was just like filled with toppings at the bottom. It, it was nasty. Then uh, the last thing I marked was that we went to bed at 4 a.m. And I knew that was going to happen. He is a night owl and I promised myself I wouldn't complain about staying up late on his birthday. I did fall asleep for 30 minutes around like midnight, but I woke back up. We hung out and um, I was in hell, but it was his day, so I wasn't going to complain. And that is actually why I took PTO for Friday. I didn't want to have to make it through work after staying up with him. I just couldn't do both, so I took the day off. So I just marked PTO. I marked that I slept in. I slept until noon. I did his dishes, and then I just marked that I was angry because I was. I was overwhelmed. I was annoyed. I felt like I couldn't do anything right, like I, like nothing I do is ever good enough. I was just mad. I was just mad. 
And then I went home and because I went home at like 4.30, everybody was home from work at this point because it's summer Fridays and I got a really shitty parking spot, even worse than the one that I had gotten on Wednesday evening. And then I vented to my roommate for an hour and a half because like I said, I was angry. And then I took a depression nap. <laughs> then after that, Joe picked me up to go to the uh, soccer party and we watched I say watched, I didn't really watch, but we watched the Women's World Cup and just hung out and it, I actually had a good time. So I'm glad that I like calmed down and was able to enjoy myself. And they had like a party sash for Joe and like made him a cake. So it was almost like another birthday party for him. But yeah, it was very fun. Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that Brad's butt smelled so bad. And I... I don't get it. Like his butt every once in a while just reeks, reeks. I swear he needs his like anal glands s- s- squeezed or something. I don't know. Like it, like his ass smelled so bad and he was sleeping right in between my legs. So the smell of his butt actually woke me up. I know, disgusting, sorry. And so the first thing I did when I woke up was wash my blanket because he was sleeping on it. So I had to, like that's how bad he smelled. He like left a scent on my blanket. So I washed that. And then my roommate and I walked to UPS so that I could mail something and they were supposed to be open till five and they had closed at noon that day. What else is new? Then we went back home and I deep cleaned the entire apartment because we were hosting Joe's birthday party at our place just because it's much bigger than his. So yeah, I had to clean everything. I got ready and then... Joe came over with his best friend who was in town for his birthday and the four of us walked to dinner and we went to a place we'd never been before called Hilltown Tavern and my food was okay. It was a little whatever. Um, And then the last thing for Saturday was that it was Joe's birthday party and people stayed so late. They stayed till like 3, 3 3.30 I think and I was nervous that my new neighbors were gonna like come knocking on our door because it got really loud. Not because we were doing anything crazy. We were all just talking, but everybody was having like separate conversations and there were like 12 people in the apartment or something. It just got really loud. There might've only even been 10, but still it just got very, very loud. Luckily, nobody complained. So it it was all good. Um, But yeah, very long night. So finally moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that I was a little bit hungover because I had a couple drinks the night before and I'm old now. So that's how that goes. And I basically just napped all night. Special shout out to this pumpkin paper Cotera. I've been hoarding this sticker and I finally decided to use her. RIP Pumpkin Paper Co. I miss that shop so much. Um, I just caught up on a bunch of YouTube, like vlogs specifically. Um... There's a channel called Michelle and Aline, and they live in New York, these two sisters. I really like their content, but sometimes when I'm feeling really down, I actually stop watching because their life looks so perfect that it makes me feel like shit about mine. Um, I know nobody's life is perfect, but you know what I mean. Um, but this day, I just, I like binged all the videos that I had missed and also like slept through them at the same time because I was basically unconscious all day. Then when I finally gathered up the strength and the will because... To me, there's nothing more depressing than cleaning up after a party. I really don't like it, especially on a Sunday. Like, I would rather have a party on a Friday, clean up Saturday, and then still feel like there's weekend left. I don't know. It's it's obviously psychological, but to clean up a party mess on a Sunday, just, I really don't like it. It, like, really depresses me. Let me know if you're the same. Um, then I went over to Joe's and quote-unquote helped him with his car. I mainly just, like, what did I even do? I did so. Oh, I turned his wheel in his car in and out so he could get to his axle. (laughs) So that's how I helped and just sort of kept him company. And then the grand finale of, oh, sorry if you can hear Janet, just, oh, she's hunting something. More fur. She like hunts her own fur. Anyway, the final thing for this plan with me is um, we watched the first episode of season three. Oh my God. Can you chill? I'm almost done. Of Ted Lasso. So yeah, this week was all over the place. Um, I don't know, but I think the spread is really cute and I'm excited that I finally did one of these little like double box tricks. Um, Yeah, I don't know. That's it. So did I talk for 33 minutes? You tell me. Uh, But thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.